So if everything we're seeing is grounded in our history at the most basic level, how is it ever possible to deviate? How could we ever be creative? Well, if everything I'm seeing right now is a history of the past meanings of what happened in, in before, not what happened to me before, but the history of the meanings of what happened before, and I get those assumptions and biases, well, then if I change my assumptions, I'll change my perceptions. So it's quite basic, but not simple, right? So I'm going to show you how powerful it is to change your assumptions, to change your biases. So here we have this space of possibility. I'm going to show you this wireframe diamond. Now, we all come into the world with the assumption that we look down onto surfaces because we evolved on a ground plane. We also assume that light comes from above, etc. So when I put this into motion, most of you will see it spinning from left to right. That's because given your set of assumptions that it is looking down on a ground plane, it is spinning from left to right. I now want you to change your assumption. I want you to imagine that you're looking up at that surface instead of down. Okay? Sometimes it helps to blink, blur your eyes, look around it, and at some point it'll simply flip and go in the opposite direction. How many can get it to flip? Sometimes you blur your eyes and then blink, and every time you blink, it'll go in the opposite direction. Look around it. <laughs> How many can get it to flip now? You can't get it to flip. Keep trying. We're a literalist. Let go, Luke. <laughs> Follow the force. All right? Keep looking. You're trying to imagine you're looking up at it instead of down. There you go. <laughs> right? So that's because in this new space of possibility, this new set of assumptions, suddenly what was impossible to see becomes inevitable, and what was inevitable becomes impossible. Right? That is creativity. Right? So this concept that creativity is this chaotic, messy, serendipitous process is completely wrong. There is nothing creative about creativity. Creativity is created from the outside, not from the inside. When you see someone putting two things far apart together, you think, whoa, how did they do that? They're not. They're making a step to the next most likely possible for them. It's for you that they're far apart. Because you have a different space of possibility. You have different assumptions and biases than they have. Right? They're making an obvious step for them. So creativity is nothing other than taking small steps to the next most likely possible, but changing what's possible by changing your biases and assumptions. What you can't control is what falls there. Right? But you can control the possibility of changing it. <laughs> 